Aloha and welcome, video viewers. I'm Fate Panther, and I'm a moron. This is vam a vampire story, and I didn't realize that I could open the refrigerator. That's where the growth serum. That's where I started Let's running find into out a. What's inside. Yeah. Wow, the refrigerator is pretty cold. And right there, right there, is what I needed for the plant to carry around, but I'll remember it's here. Can of yellow mellow. It's a can of yellow de mellow. It's a can of blueberry sucker punch. I loved that stuff when I was a kid and how it would stain my mouth blue. Good stuff. Yeah. It's a can of diet cherries gone wild. <laughs> Let's see if I can take any of these. I better grab this. I better grab this. I better grab this. I just I when it said there was frost on it. I thought it was frozen, so yeah, I, I didn't really realize that I could get into it. I don't want to carry it around with me, but now that I know it's here, I can use it if I need to. Try ice. Okay, uh, let's go get that plant. Opened? When did this open? It appears to be a list containing information about the prisoner. It's nice to know Shroudy's mother was so thorough. I'm sure it's hard to take good notes while you're busy torturing somebody. She must have been an excellent multitasker. It says, prisoner identified as Irish tourist Shannon O'Doherty. Initially observed as member of local nunnery tourist exchange. The nuns only arrange tours for the most pious of individuals. Virginity has been confirmed. Her blood is exactly what I need to help unlock the mystery of the Book of Shrouds. That's terrible. Why would anyone need blood? So in denial. I'll see if I can lower it. The walkway isn't coming down. It looks like the controls are broken. Oh well, it doesn't stop us. Fordrick, help me ferry those bones to safety. Sure, no problem. I guess a rib bone? We better not try and grab them. You see how fragile they are? The moment we disturb them, they'll tumble into the demonic goo. You're right. I guess we'll just have to find some other way to retrieve those bones. Damn. It's a pair of rickety old columns holding up the walkway. It doesn't look like they've been used for years. I'm pretty sure those columns are made out of pyrogony, an extremely rare and special Draxylvanian wood. Pyrogony wood is very resistant to flame. It's pretty much impossible to burn. That's probably why the Baroness used it down here, so that the demonic snot wouldn't catch it on fire. Okay. I can't smash the columns. The walkway would come tumbling down onto my head. All right. I don't know why that opened up, but this way. Ah. Uh. To find 
find out that trapdoor is there. Now we can get the Belladonna plant. Deadly Nightshade. Whatever. I hope this will help the flowers grow. I just hope it doesn't eat a hole through the bottom of the planter box. <laughs> Is one of the ingredients we need to complete this spell. As it floats there, that's fine. Hey, what? There we go. Good. like we need to go back down to the um, this way yeah this way this game would turn into such a a long game if I had to um go back and forth. Touch that. These two items won't combine. I can't use Froderick with that. I better not. I might eat through this rock. To that. I feel dizzy when I look into that thing. Nah, you're just dizzy all the time. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oops. Keep thinking the back or escape is the back button. Put the burner. I missed. I'm not putting my hands on those. That potato masher looks like it might bite me. 
It looks like an evil stove with odd pots, pans, and kitchen utensils. You mean evil kitchen utensils. How do you know they're evil? Oh, come on. That's the meanest looking spatula I've ever seen. Wouldn't you rather be back in the kitchen so you could spend quality time with all the other utensils? I just with the Titan. They huh? said they appreciate your concern, but they enjoy working down here. They also mentioned that they're eager to cut, mash, or spoon the blood of an extra cute puppy sometime soon. Whoa, those things are evil. Okay then. Let, let's not do that again. rule not to drink from magical thingamajigs. Better not. I'm afraid of what it might say back. It's a Bunsen burner. <laughs> Does not look like anything. Control valve. Contents. Sorry, not containments. Give me a sec. Okay, folks, let's see. Oh, I'm reading things wrong. I'm stupid yet again. <sighs> Man, this game is definitely showing my dumb side. Which apparently is like half of me. We want to use that. There we go. Whoa! 
the liquid vaporized. I must have done something wrong. Oh, good, I still have the soda. Okay, three beakers, purple hearts, green clothes, orange diamonds. Oh, I need to sugarize the... Okay. I looked it up online and apparently people, other people have had problems because they don't give you the quote to put sugar in the diet soda. And, more importantly, uh, stop um, the sugar doesn't go into your inventory. This should make the cherry soda undiet. Sweet! Yes, it should be sweeter. No, I meant sweet as in, that's cool. Sorry for the confusion. Next time, I'll just say awesome. Yes, slang terms sometimes get confusing. And it's all depending on when you decide to use them. Like me, I use them all the time on the wrong fucking time frames. Oh well. Uh, let's go back here. That might be a good conversation if that talked back. Too bad. Now then, it says to do this. Purple. It's a beaker, half filled with green demonic snot. Okay, now let's see. <sighs> Blue. There we go. Look, the liquid in the hot beaker turned purple. Clover. No basic coloring. Now that I understand what they're going for. Interesting. The liquid in the clover beaker turned bright green. Now we're going to try to make this one orange. Red and yellow, I believe, makes orange. Well, that didn't vaporize, so that's correct so far. Yay! The liquid in the diamond beaker turned bright orange. Yes, this is no longer me figuring it out. I'm just... I want this game to end. But I'm not going to quit on it because I can... I have the means of beating it. So... First, we put in...
Purple Heart. Then... Orange Diamond. And lastly, Green Clover. I would uh, feel s now what? I'd feel smart if I had done it on my own. Now But I didn't do it on my own. Just for comedical effect. It, it says this isn't gonna work, but I wanna see it myself. Mona, wait! Here's the plan. As you turn up the gas, we're gonna leap into the air. That way, in the unfortunate event of an explosion, its force will carry us safely away instead of incinerating us at ground zero. Uh... Explosions are so exciting! All right, ready? One, two, three, Wow. Dang, that's one lame flame. That was pathetic. I, damn. Okay, but I do know where a other flame is. Uh, yeah, this way. This one. This flame is so not. The ingredients aren't mixing. How can we make this cauldron hotter? Add fishnet stockings and high heels. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I would not, could not use that wood. How about with a goat? Or even on a boat? Would you, could you on a boat? Why are you talking that way? I thought you wanted to rhyme. No. Okay, suit yourself. I'm easy. Back in Pelly. What do we do? What do we do? Flame is indeed lame. And now we go back. Click being fast move exit as well as inventory so sucks. Is that my This is slightly tedious. But then again, it's on my own damn fault for not being smart enough to play this game. Okay, I, I will say this. At this point in time, it's no longer how smart I am of playing this game. 
It's whether or not I want you guys to suffer through me muddling around trying to figure out what the f***ing hell to do next. that stuff, but it's got quite a kick. Kind of reminds me of the bat shine my Uncle Jess used to make. I remember this one time, I brought a jar of it to a party. All I really remember is taking the first couple of sips. Then the next thing you know, it's five hours later, I'm in a complete stranger's belfry, I suddenly have this new tattoo, and to top it all off, my pants are missing. This sounds like an incredibly touching story, but I'm afraid we don't have time to hear it right now. <laughs> Roderick, it's boiling! It has turned bright red! It worked! And I know where to use this. Boink, 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 boink. Point to point to point to point. I have to go in here to go on the other side because she can't f***ing fly over it. Patiently for the screen to bend. I don't know why that opened. I have absolutely no clue that it's... I, I don't know. But this. Let's try the oh magic acid we made on those columns. Movie? Game crash? Movie. Another movie? No, just a repeat of the first one. Go. That did it! The walkway is down now! And yay! We get the bones! Let's just get what we need and get out of here! Go! Ah! <sighs> of course it's not gonna be that easy. Back? Stay back, I say! I don't wish to harm me, but I'll do so if you leave me no choice. What now? Can't anything ever be easy? To a true that. Ugh. It's some kind of ghost. I'd call her a banshee. Or more specifically, a really pissed off Irish banshee. Uh. Hello. May I talk to you? My name is Shannon O'Doherty. I've come from Ireland to search far and wide for my one true love. And here we go. How did you end up in Draxylvania of all places? I did some research into local demographics. There appeared to be a discrepancy in regards to the number of men versus the number of women in the greater Draxylvanian area. Apparently, many of the women have died over recent years due to an unusual outbreak of anemia. Interestingly enough, this same affliction seems to have taken its toll on the local paperboy population. I figured with so many men available, I was bound to find my one true love. For as much science as you put behind that, true love doesn't seem like a possible outcome. Were you able to find a man? Indeed I was. Not long after I arrived here with my tour group, I received a letter at my hotel. It was addressed to me from Burgermeister Willem Vinton, mayor of Gulfford Falls. He said he was interested in meeting me after catching a glimpse of my fiery red hair. Did you ever get to meet this Burgermeister William Vinton? Yes, but only briefly. He came to my hotel saying he wanted to meet me. As the mayor of Gothford Falls, he always enjoyed spending time with young ladies new to the area. I believe he took a liking to me. 
remember he invited me to come up to his room so we could discuss Draxylvanian history. Sounds like this Burgermeister was looking to get to know a wee bit of the Irish. How did you end up in this castle? A woman came to speak with our tour group, saying that she was the Baroness von Kiefer. She asked me how old I was and how it came to be that I was in Draxylvania. After I told her about myself, she offered me a job working at her castle. Since I knew that I had found my true love in Willem, I decided to stay in Draxylvania and took her up on her offer. The first night in the castle, the Baroness brought me a warm cup of tea. After taking a drink, I grew very tired, and the next thing I remember is waking up here. Oh, that sucks. Why don't you leave here? I surely want to, but until my bones can be buried in a consecrated grave, I must guard them till the end of time. Uh... Mm, bummer. All of your bones, you say, or most of them? Good question. I'll have to ask. Ask whom? Another good question. My, you're just full of them. Why do you ask, anyway? Never mind. Uh, don't worry about it. Would it be alright if we borrowed one of those bones there? I can't let you do that. I'm saving them for my burial in consecrated ground. I feel the need to stay here until that happens. Guard your bones all the time. I must stand vigil through this endless night. My true love, Willem, rescues me at dawn. He'll bury my bones and hold me in his arms forever. Oh, how I long for the morning. Um. Hmm. I don't think that's how it works. Well, thank you for our little chat. It was my pleasure. Mona. It's clear that there's no way we're going to get those bones while she's still guarding them. And she's apparently going to be guarding them until the sun comes up. But that will be too late. I can't wait until the sun rises. Then I guess we're in deep guano. No virgin ghost is going to stop me. Mona, I like your confidence. Okay, well, that's it for this session. So, <laughs> until next time, have fun, be safe, and... Aloha.